This video is related to iMac Mailer, a mass mailing software made by FK Solutions. Today we're going to be talking about why POP3 downloading while executing the subscribe and subscribe command may fail. The most obvious reason is uh, wrong POP3 settings. Let's press the unsubscribe button and see what happens. Downloading failed. And uh, as we can see here, that connection uh, to our POP3 server failed. And uh, take a look at the number of uh, processed requests, it's zero. And uh, all the other parameters of this dialog box are also zero. It means that uh, POP3 settings are invalid. Let's go to the preferences and uh, check our POP3 settings. It's really a good idea to give your email provider a call and ask them for the correct settings and then uh, check everything here and uh, correct it. When it's corrected, you can uh, successfully download your subscribe requests. Now my settings are correct and uh, downloading completed successfully and we have one processed request. Now let's simulate uh, another scenario of failure. Let's go to preferences and uh, go to my incoming settings and let's intentionally make uh, an error in the authentication settings I put the wrong user ID and let's try to execute the unsubscribe command again downloading failed but the difference between uh, this example and the previous one is in uh, the error message. It now says us that authentication failed. It definitely means that uh, POP3 settings are wrong and particularly the authentication part is wrong, either user ID or password. If authentication fails, number of processed requests will always be zero. Let's go to preferences and let's fix it once we fix it we can press the subscribe button again and the program successfully downloads my request and again I have uh, one processed request and one recipient was added to the database here it is. You may also encounter a situation when a connection fails while the program is downloading the subscribe requests. And, uh, let's check how it looks like. We press the unsubscribe button and we disconnect from the internet. We simulate that uh, connection failed. Okay, connection failed, downloading failed. Take a look at this uh, error box. As in the first case, when we were simulating uh, wrong POP3 settings, we also received uh, the connection failed uh, error for our POP3 server. But unlike the first case, we now have uh, some processed requests and uh, we even have some new added recipients which were added to the database it means that uh, the problem is not in uh, POP3 settings but internet connection itself failed otherwise uh, 
the number of processed requests and the number of newly added or updated or removed recipients uh, would be zero. Now I will show you, show you a confusing situation. Remember we unplugged our computer from the internet and now the internet connection on it is down. Let's uh, start this downloading process and press the unsubscribe button. The program fails right away and shows us uh, downloading failure and uh, error message is connection failed and number of processed requests is zero added zero, updated zero and removed zero everything is zero and we have connection failed error it looks very similar to the first situation with wrong POP3 settings and uh, you need to learn how to distinguish between uh, wrong POP3 settings and uh, when in internet connection really goes down the easiest way is to just start your web browser and try to open a website or check uh, your email messages using your email client before you start downloading messages this way you will ensure that connection is up and running before you hit the unsubscribe button now I'm gonna restore my internet connection and uh, plug the internet cable back to my computer and I'm gonna press the unsubscribe button and check how it works now and it works perfectly and uh, we receive our subscribe requests now one quick tip let's go to preferences if you really made sure that internet connection is up and running and you hit the unsubscribe button and always you get an error message connection failed it definitely means that uh, POP3 settings are wrong and uh, you really wish to delete your POP3 account from the list and uh, add it a new why? because every time you add your account using new account wizard it checks your POP3 settings while you fill them in and this way you can ensure that you enter valid settings I'll show you how it looks like we enter our email address we enter host and suppose we enter a wrong host and press the continue button the program validates connection and it says that connection could not be established in valid POP3 server, host or port or internet connection is, av is unavailable before you add a new POP3 account make sure that your internet connection is up and running by checking your emails or opening a website using your web browser mistakes in the host cannot be corrected automatically because iMacMailer just doesn't know which host is right and which host is wrong so host has to be put in a correct way and uh, the port port could be corrected automatically let's say we put a wrong port and uh, wrong SSL settings SSL settings uh, are also corrected, corrected automatically and let's hit the continue button and see what happens we don't see any error and if you go back you can uh, see that the port number was corrected back to one to the standard one 110 and uh, SSL this checkbox was reset so the program corrected it for us 
Now user ID and password. If an incorrect user ID or password is entered, and if you press the continue button after validation, iMacMiller will tell you that something is wrong with your authentication settings. You have either invalid username or invalid password. I want to correct this. Now everything is validated, connection to the server and authentication settings. And we can press the continue button. And a new account now is added to the list. And uh, it should start working right away because it was correctly validated and you didn't receive any errors while uh, adding this account. Let's close the preferences and hit the unsubscribe button. And as we can see now, the program downloads and uh, successfully processes two new recipients. And here they are. And this is it. That was uh, an overview of uh, what could be wrong with POP3 settings. Thanks for listening.